This is a set of words that is commonly referred to as the Lord's Prayer. It is an explanatory and beautiful declaration, but the words are worn out and common. This is my personally amplified version of this famous prayer repeated all over the place. And as I feel most inspired sometimes when I'm up on a bike pedaling, you are going to get a view of my bike trail. Our supernatural parent parent. I hesitate to call you father just because you are gender designer. But since the one we call Yeshua used the term father, we may use that term from time to time. Our supernatural parent who is the Racham and Rachem, the womb and the mercy, the originating place and the place where mercy and grace and forgiveness comes from. Our supernatural parent who originated us and who gives us grace and mercy. May the description of you be known and respected. A name is merely a descriptive term. Just like you call a puppy dog fuzzy because he's got fuzzy ears, so also the supernatural parent has many descriptive terms. May the descriptive terms that describe you be known amongst the humans and honored, exalted, talked about, respected. To go a bit further, you are life giver. You are spirit of loving kindness. You are the great example of mercy and forgiveness. You are the spirit of mercy and grace. You are the originating place and the nurturing power. These are just some of your name, your descriptive these are just some of your descriptive labels. Our supernatural parent, may the description of you be known, respected, and conversed about, and honored here in the human realm. May your sphere of influence increase and may the things that you love to have done be done here in the human realm just like they are being done over there in the realm that is invisible to us, the spirit realm sometimes referred to as the second heaven, the 
parallel realm, which is very active with beings. May your descriptive labels be respected. May your sphere of influence, your kingdom, increase. And may your will be done here in the human realm as, as it is being done over there in the spirit realm. In the story of Ahab, Jehoshaphat, and Micaiah, in the story of Ahab, Jehoshaphat, and Micaiah, we see that over there in the second heaven, in the parallel realm, you allow even negative spirits to move in order to put an end to someone who happens to be hurting people. So there is fascinating stuff going on over there that we are not aware of. Our human minds are not tuned into all of the details of the second heaven or the parallel realm or the spirit realm that we cannot fully comprehend. In that spirit realm, in that second heaven, there is no time and space restrictions and there are thoughts and there is an intellect that is far above human intellect and we are humbled by this truth and this is why we call out to you supernatural parent give us today the supernatural food for our souls so that our minds and emotions and willpower can make it through the circumstances and problems of this day. Give us today our supernatural food. This is not merely a thanksgiving for some food to eat. This is in the original language, this is a full implication that we could eat supernaturally in each day. So give us this day our supernatural food, which we call the Eucharist or the Thanksgiving. Give us this day our supernatural food and forgive us for all the stuff that we owe you. We owe you time and attention. We owe you activities of service towards members of our human family who are troubled, oppressed, poor, and in difficulty. We owe you our time. We owe attention to the needy. We owe you portions of our material stuff which we give to your servants the traveling truth speakers the apostles and prophets the ones who form the communion group to make sure that people are receiving their daily supernatural food Why is it that the ancient lineage churches have gatherings for communion every single day, sometimes at a couple different times of the day? Why? Look at Acts 2.42. 
they were addicted to, they were obsessed with the breaking of bread, which is a reference to Luke 24, when Jesus broke the bread, his identity was revealed. It is a reference to the supernatural Eucharist meal that is the closest place to God in this season after Messiah has gone away. It is where we ask our questions of the Holy Spirit and we get answers. It is a closed and private meeting for this supernatural meal, this Eucharist. Give us this day our supernatural food and forgive us for what we owe you, be it time, money, attention, and service to your people. Because, forgive us for what we owe you, because we forgive everybody. We forgive every human soul for anything that they have done wrong to us. We are all little children who are being affected by the second heaven, the parallel realm, and individual spirit beings who hate us and are on assignment to us and do not like our comfortable relationship with the supreme and supernatural parent. Forgive us what we owe you because we forgive everyone who has abused or hurt us or even surprised us negatively in any way. And we anticipate at the end of life there will be an evaluation. An evaluation of every thought. An evaluation of every tone of voice. An evaluation of every relationship. An evaluation of every action and activity. We anticipate an evaluation of all the details of our lives. We appreciate that some of our teachers have not enlightened us and we have been acting without understanding. We have been acting in a negative way, not realizing it. And sometimes we have been acting Ignorantly, we have been ignoring available information and honestly not caring about truth. We anticipate that there will be an evaluation. When the final evaluation comes, do not allow us to go down into the hands of deceivers and darkness. But draw us up away from the evil one and into your place of friendship and light, life and even, yes, delight. We call out to you, the one who was referred to as Yahweh Elohim, or I exist, I supremely exist. In case you are wondering if I existed, that's my name. My name is I exist. Yah, I exist. 
and then the addition, I exist they, extremely, I exist supremely, supernaturally, eternally, eternally. that is one of your descriptive terms, Yah, they, the one who exists supremely. speak out to you, Yahweh Elohim, a powerful God being, which is what the word Elohim means, it means a supreme divine nature above the human. We call out to you, Yahweh Elohim. Because you have made it known that you have the greatest sphere of influence, the consistently greatest power. A special gloriousness and wonderfulness to your actions and activities. We call out to you, Yahweh Elohim, because you have the kingdom and the glory and the power and the honor and the love, a consistent love of human beings. And you have displayed all those things for ages and ages and to ages beyond our understanding. Our supernatural parents, may the descriptions of you be known and honored. You are the supremely existing one. May your sphere of influence and the things that you love to see having done, may those, all those good things be done here in the human realm as they are being done over there in the spirit realm. Give us today our supernatural food. You can repeat that one. Give us today our supernatural food and forgive us what we owe you because we forgive everyone who owes us anything of any sort. Time, attention, respect, care, supply. Forgive us because we forgive everyone. When the final test and evaluation comes, do not let us fail the test and go down into the grip of the evil, but rather draw us up and away, give us approval and relief and grace and mercy away from the evil one. That being the description of a spirit being who we cannot see, and many spirit beings who promote evil. Because, we say these things because, you have presented yourself as having influence, power, honor, glory, a special beautiful goodness that lasts forever and ever. Amen in the name of Yehoshua. Okay. And that has taken us 
from 22nd and Central all the way to Demon's Landing, the St. Petersburg Sailing Center. The beautiful St. Petersburg Marina boat base. And the stately Benoit Park Hotel and the pier, which is a work of art designed for many humans to enjoy. 